Welcome back. Now, ladies, have you ever noticed how mainstreams adopt a physical trait or style that was started by black folks and then they try to make it the new in thing? Well, today we're going to look at how mainstream cultures have adopted and rocked cornrows. Check out this segment called Flashing Back Cornrows. Cornrows are everywhere now, but they found their roots among Africans as early as 500 BC. Cornrow designs communicated everything from age to social status. Now it's become a favorite look of black women everywhere. It can be swerved straight up, down, back. Black women have stayed committed to their cornrows, even when mainstream culture labeled the braided look as too ethnic and militant. Even though black women had been queens of the cornrow for hundreds of years, one blonde beauty adorned the look and it suddenly became mainstream. When the actress Bo Derek debuted in the 70s film 10 with cornrows and beaded braids, the look became a worldwide craze. Since then, other celebs have borrowed the cornrowed crown too. As long as I've been doing hair in this business, one thing that I've noticed is being in America with the urban hairstyles to going to the UK and to London and seeing the kids rocking the cornrows and the band two knots, it's really exciting to see that the world is turning. Cornrows, dreads, and Nubian knots have gone international, y'all. What about that? But right here in the U.S. back in 1979, the movie 10 was released, and people went crazy over this woman, Bo Derek, running along the beach with her hair and cornrows and little beads at the end blowing in the wind. And we know that we've grown up watching the girls in the neighborhood run with those colored beads at the end with the little Tin aluminum foil. foil. That's right. <laughs> Why do you think, ladies, the style of cornrows was so much more accepted and and embrace when worn by Bo. Cornrows were the original no fuss hairdo. Yeah. You get your hair done on your cornrowed on Saturday, you can go to school all week. But I remember there were some folks who wouldn't let their kids go to school with their hair cornrowed. <laughs> and I think it's because back in the day there was a lack of acceptance for our culture and for our history. And you know what else is interesting, how I have friends that work in the corporate environment and they want to wear those locks, they want to wear those cornrows, right. but they're afraid because it's like they feel that it won't be accepted. You know, I remember growing up, there was a huge case with one of the airlines where black flight attendants wanted to wear cornrows. And it was groundbreaking. After they won that case, mm -hmm. it opened up a whole plethora of do's. Uh, Afro puffs, mm -hmm. cornrows. Mm -hmm. Black women could finally get out of the pressing comb. I love it. Then regardless of how society may judge or eventually embrace our styles, if it's an expression of who you are, ladies, rock it. Rock it proud. Mm -hmm. Wear it. Okay. Now, when My Black is Beautiful returns, we're going to beauty school. But before we go, you got to check out this tip from celebrity hairstylist Dr. Boogie. He has something good to show us. All right, I have another quick tip for all my ladies who want to rock a ponytail without using the accessories that damage hair. Whether you have long hair or short hair, our models Saida and Andrea are going to show you how to do that, and Dr. Boogie is going to man the field. How can we do it? Well, everyone thinks that they have to use a ponytail or a scrunchie or something like that. That's so unhealthy. So you can rock accessory-free updos. I'm going to put a little oil sheen in her hair, of course, because every time you go up, sometimes it has a tendency to look a little dry. Pull that back, mm -hmm. twist it around, All right. and just grab some bobby pins and, and pin it. it. I think we're off to the next one. Off to the next one. Let's do it. A little sheen, just so you can brush it through, mm -hmm. so it doesn't feel so dry. I pull it back in a ponytail. That uh -huh. gets all the flyaways. So you take a section from the back, separate it like that, and you just wrap. Watch me create a little height. And wrap. And you know what? If you have a little flyaway, it's OK. Fabulous, fabulous, Dr. Bookie. Now with that, he's showing all my ladies out there how you can have a damage-free ponytail whether you have long hair or short hair. See just how beautiful black can be with skincare tips and more on BET.com slash MBID. Well, you know, there's something new to learn every day about the ways that we style and care for our unique types of hair. So our very own Alicia Renee and celebrity hairstylist Dr. Boogie, they got together at Mish Salon in L.A. to show us the do's and the don'ts of black hair care. Take a look at this, and we'll be back in a minute. 
This, of course, is Beauty School, where we are showing you ladies how you can take care of your hair with products from the Pantene Relaxed and Natural Intensive Moisturizing Collection. Isn't that right, Dr. Boogie? That's right, Alicia. Now, he's going to show all of you ladies how you can wear your hairstyles in such fabulous ways. We're here now with Olivia. She is curly as well as color treated. Look at those curls, <laughs> but I want to really pay attention to those curls right. at the end. Now the Daily Oil Moisturizing Cream is one of my favorites. And the one thing I love about this Daily Oil Cream Moisturizer, it seals in the moisture. It gets rid of all that brittle, dry look when people feel like they have that dry hair. And I see the color on the tips as well. So you go ahead and you massage it all in. Mm -hmm. Let it seal in that moisture. Add the wrap set. Mm -hmm all over, be generous as you want with it. I'm just gonna finish her off by spraying in some Intensive Oil Sheen Spray by Relaxing Natural. Look at the definition in those curls at the end. Normally this is really dry and frizzy, but look at the shine in the definition. Yeah. Look absolutely fabulous. Let's move on to our next model, Alicia. Alicia is all natural and she's relaxer free and again has been shampooed up, lathered, let it sit three to five minutes. Is it important for Pantene Relax Natural sit in there for a little bit? That's right, Alicia. So you go ahead and you rinse with the conditioner and we'll put her under the dryer. I can't stress that dry, brittle, looking like hair, how the moisture really gets in here and locks in and seals it in there. But you see me using both products because they do kind of two different things. Mm -hmm. This is the lotion. So it seals that hair. I'm telling you, that seal is very important. Braid it up. Everyone can do this at home. And just put plaits in it and sit her under the dryer. Then we release the cornrows so we can have like a natural effect with a little bit of kink and curl to it. We're going to use the Intensive Oil Sheen Spray just to give it the shine and to get rid of that brittle look of the dry ends and whatnot, that Intensive Oil Sheen Spray takes care of that. Right. And then of course now that it's crinkly and natural, she can pretty much wear it any way she wants. All right, so let's move on to our next model, Ebony, who happens to be wearing weaved hair. Dr. Boogie, let everybody know what's going on right here. Well, you know, with Ebony, um, it, she's been through a lot. She um, <laughs> started off with trying to blend the weave a lot, and that's a lot of problems that the ladies are having today. They're trying to blend the weave, so if you notice, she had a lot of breakage under there. Right. So we treated her hair with all the Pantene products, put the moisture in there, let it lock and seal, put the positions in the front, braided that all the way up, and she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to have a natural part or anything like that. So by closing it all up, leaving none of her hair out, she's able to flat iron and curl it. At the end of the day, it's healthy underneath there. All right, ladies, you've seen weaved hair, you've seen color treated hair, natural hair. So however you're wearing your hair, just make sure that you wear your hair healthy. Well, I tell you, if I knew then what I know now, my relationship with my hair would have been so much different, believe me. And the message there seems to be that no matter the texture of your hair, you must do all that you can to maintain its healthiness because healthy hair is good hair. So we got to get rid of that myth, ladies, about her hair is good or my hair is bad. As long as your hair is healthy, it's great. So ladies, I got to tell you, that does it for this episode of My Black is Beautiful, and I'm so sad. To go. <laughs> but I would like to talk about you representing this new album you have out. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Your black is new, new album, new album. Yeah. <laughs> my new album, Epiphany. Yes. Uh, I can't oh. wait for you all to hear it. I'm very honest, right. very vulnerable. So. Oh, I love it. And is there anything else we want to talk about? You have a book out, right? Or well, I out? have a New York Times bestseller out right yes. now, The Women Who Raised Me, and my new mm. book, which will be published by Simon & Schuster Atreus, yes. called Secrets of a Soap Opera Diva. I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> Kim, anything you want to I have about? a one-woman show that I'll be touring with this year called Black Don't Crack, But My Soul Does Ache. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that's great. So, Sonia, is there anything you want to share with us about what you got going Actually, on? Actually, yes. I yeah. just recently started a nonprofit foundation oh. entitled Wired for Change. Oh, I, along nice. with some of my co-stars from The Wire, are trying to give back to underserved communities, to the youth in those communities, based on what we've learned in the show. I love it. That is fantastic. Oh, it has been our pleasure to bring you yet another episode of My Black is Beautiful. And I want to thank my guests, Chrisette Michelle, Sonia Sohn, Kim Fields, and Victoria Rao for being here today. My Black is Beautiful will return next time when we take a look at body image and self-esteem. Go out there and be all that you can be and know that you are black and beautiful. I'm Tasha Smith, and thank you for watching My Black is Beautiful. Our Black is Beautiful. Yo Black, yo Black, yo Black. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>